Acid reflux disease is actually defined as an abnormal exposure of the food pipe to the acid, leading to symptoms. And this is a condition in which uh, the gatekeeper of your food pipe, which is your lower esophageal sphincter, is showing abnormal relaxations that leads to the acid moving up from your stomach into the chest. And that leads to various symptoms like heartburn, coughing, nausea, and uh, frequent throat clearing, etc. Foods actually are not a direct causative agent for acid reflux disease. There's multiple factors that influence the working of your sphincter, but the foods, there are certain foods that can make your symptoms worse. So once you start having this irritation from the acid that can lead to inflammation and irritation in your food pipe, then you go to you know foods like spicy foods or carbonated drinks, chocolate, caffeine, things like those will exacerbate your symptoms because directly they can irritate your inflamed segment in your food pipe. Symptoms vary with acid reflux disease. They go from mild to severe. Patients who have had this problem for a long time can end up having a lot of severe symptoms for a very long time. Actually, there are studies out there that have clearly proven that the quality of life can even be worse than people living with congestive heart failure. They are not able to eat properly, they have severe uh, acid reflux disease in the nighttime, there is sleep disruption, there is a uh, lot of indirect effects of this condition. And that is why people end up on treatment for this condition for a very long time and that keeps on going. Most of our patients end up being uh, treated for this condition with what we call as acid reductive medications, mainly the proton pump inhibitors, and they end up being treated with these medications for an extended period of time. There's lots of nuances involved in this treatment. Sometimes the patients will have symptoms recur after we are backing off on the medications. So I would say majority of the patients end up being on treatment with uh, medications for a long period of time and uh, that's how we manage those patients by trying to taper them off the medications or offering them other modalities that can substitute these medications. Acid reflux can cause erosions, can cause inflammation, sometimes it doesn't do that and still can cause symptoms. So we need to isolate and identify patients who have clear cut erosions or inflammation in the food pie versus they have other condition that can mimic GERD or mimic a heartburn and that those conditions can be related to just hypersensitivity of the nerves or this can be just something that the patient is perceiving something that we call as functional heartburn that are treated in a very different way. Persistent heartburn, persistent acid reflux, persistent exposure of the food pipe to the acid that is produced in the stomach will maintain that inflammation and sometimes that inflammation if left alone and untreated can proceed and progress towards precancerous changes in the food pipe and also can lead to strictures and narrowing of the food pipe as well. So these two, the precancerous changes and the stricturing and persistent problems are the main risks that can happen with ongoing acid reflux disease. And uh, in my viewpoint, they can be treated appropriately and these things can be prevented if we act on them in a timely fashion. My message for the patients who have persistent heartburn, persistent acid reflux disease issues is to discuss this with their physicians and consider coming over to the GI department at Amita Health. We take pride in what we are doing we have all the various state-of-the-art testing methods and treatment methods and some of the best physicians in the Chicagoland area to take care of your problems.